What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Old Ass Casuals. I'm Justin. Hey, I'm Kelly, and we are a mother and son video game playing duo, and we're excited because we're going to watch a whole bunch of trailers. We are. We're going to watch a whole <laughs> bunch of trailers in a row. Uh, we haven't watched any trailers for quite some time, it feels like. Uh, we like doing these trailer reactions because they're fun. We get to watch trailers together, moms and I, and then we get to come after the trailer and talk about it, discuss what we saw, what we liked, what we didn't like. Are we excited about that particular game? Are we going to purchase it, or is it going to be left on the shelf. And I will say this, most of the time, most of the games, we want to play them. Yeah, we do. Uh, it's it's very rare, maybe one out of ten times we watch a trailer and we're like, meh, didn't, didn't, didn't really do it for us. Uh, don't think we'll plunk down our fifty nine ninety five to uh, purchase that game. I know this game, we sat down to play it a very long time ago, and it's The Evil Within, and it scared the bejesus out of us, <laughs> and we couldn't we couldn't get past the opening part in the in that moment that we played together. And then yeah. I just never picked it back up again. I own the game, and it's from Shinji Mikami, who happens to be the guy that created Resident Evil, and he's amazing. He's a genius. He is a genius. Yeah. I love the Resident Evil franchise, the series, all mm -hmm. the games. You would think that. The Evil Within would be right up my alley, and it is. I just, for some reason, once we didn't proceed, mm -hmm. I think I got swept up in a bunch of other games, and I just yeah. have never gone back to it, which is a mistake on my part because I've heard really good things about this game. It kind of took Resident Evil, or took, took the genre back mm -hmm. to its roots, where it's like resource management, survival horror that's truly horrifying. Yeah. Uh, so I want to check out The Evil Within before The Evil Within 2. J launches on yeah Friday October 13th that's right it's got the uh, perfect release date it does have the perfect release date I will say if you will just leave this on this top of the stack yeah. when I come to visit it may get played all right well, I'll, then, I, after I bring it to my own house the deal deal <laughs> okay. uh, and, and if I leave it there then you have to stream you playing it on the channel no matter how <laughs> terrible you are at it because it's a it's a hard-ass game I remember <laughs> The, the bits that we played of it, it's yeah. a difficult game. I mean, it definitely takes it back where you've got to manage those resources Did very I suck wisely. At it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was we, bo we both sucked at it, to be fair. Okay. Uh, it All had right. been a while since I'd played a game quite like that style of where it's kind of, you know, the movements are a little bit more just kind of robotic and mm -hmm. not as smooth as some of the other action and adventure games that you play, but that also kind of heightens the tension of the game where you're, you're, the character that you're playing is not this just like superhero badass. He's a regular exactly. human being. He's going to uh, be more like me in real life. It, yes. Yeah. Most certainly like all of us regular humans uh, dropped in this horrible survival, terrible, apocalyptic <laughs> style, ter terrible place. So uh, we're going to watch The Evil Within. This is the trailer number two. It's entitled Survive. So it's, it's a gameplay trailer, which I'm excited to see okay. some of the gameplay. We already watched one of the cinematic trailers. Excited to check out what this trailer is all about. So I say let's get into it. And, uh, and then we'll give you our thoughts and opinions on the trailer afterwards. What are you thinking about? Lily. Everything that's happening in here is because of her. Dear God, that would be terrifying. I hope so. She's the real victim here. Oh, oh. Yep, I jumped. <laughs> that was... I did, I did. Damn jump scare got us. It's all your fault. Is it Troy Baker? It sounds a you lot like Troy Baker. Me. Oh my god. Oh. Holy snipe. Oh. Close your eyes to the truth. That knife is badass. Yeah, like. You want to stop me, but you have failed. I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. Oh. What the oh. crap? Crap. Oh my god, that was <laughs> badass. Ah, oh, the, the burning thing was really... The flames were off. Yeah, that's incredible. Oh 
Oh, it's all your fault. Dear Wait, good. Didn't we... I thought we played that a little bit more than a little bit. I, no, I don't think so. We, we, oh. we, didn't, we didn't play much of that. I, I, don't, okay. I don't recall us playing a whole lot of that, but man, that was, that was intense. That was badass. The weapons that, that our character, that Sebastian is using in this game, they look incredible. The, one, the way that, uh, or the one that he shot that tire and it looked like it was like an explosive on a timer and as that one crazy looking monster yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, a definite alien. Yeah, it, it didn't look like a straight on zombie because it, it it looked like, yeah, it looked like an alien from The Thing. That's basically what it looked yeah. like from John Carpenter's The Thing where it's just got like, it's mutated, it's coming yeah, out of anywhere lots, and everywhere. Lots of arms, tentacle looking arm things going on and uh, I, it looks terrifying. It does. It looks terrifying, but it looks fun. To me, it, it, zombies are almost easier to fight with when you yes. think about it. Because at one time they were they were human. So you, you feel like, you know, you know some of their traits on, on the way they're going to react. Yeah. But that alien looking thing, I don't know nothing about you. <laughs> no. And it looked like it just kept coming and coming and coming. I don't know mm -hmm. if, if that's just an enemy type or not, but uh, it all looked, they, they looked similar to one another that, that the character was fighting throughout that whole trailer and everything. So yeah, that was pretty rad. Uh, I definitely <laughs> dug the hell out of that trailer. A little bit more about the trailer, I guess this is kind of a synopsis for the trailer, is that Sebastian is plagued by the memories of the daughter he couldn't save in a mystery he can never solve. He begins to lose himself in his past mistakes. Sebastian lives out his nightmares every day, unable to pull himself from his downward spiral until an old friend turned traitor re-enters his life with an offer. Return Prozac. to the <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Prozac Ambien all his best friends just coming back to comfort him um, but yeah until this traitor returns his life uh, re-enters his life with an offer return to the nightmare and save your daughter the evil within two gives a broken man the chance to make things right and find the peace he so deserves but first he'll have to go through hell first okay. Uh, that would be like the only thing that would entice me to go back into that kind of hell is to know that that I can not have to live it on a daily basis anymore. Because, I mean, yeah. if he's going through that kind of shit every day. That'd be rough. I need more than Prozac. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need some serious, serious drugs, I think, if I had to mm -hmm. relive that every single day. Yeah, there was that one point in the trailer where it looks like a dreamlike state, which is pretty cool, right? That was the part that kind of made me think that I had played it. It looked like it's on this weird kind of floating runway, mm -hmm. uh, and he has to go into a, a a room that I swear I played this game a little bit. There's a, I know what you're talking about, and there's I feel like there's another game. It for me it reminded me of Batman, um, like the Arkham games, mm -hmm. and it reminded me of the Scarecrow because that you know the Scarecrow that's what he he uses all those. Uh, psychological mm -hmm. drugs that he, he, you know, he gives to his victims and everything, to where it, they're, all of the 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 troubles that they have in their life manifest and mm -hmm. and become like these true actual enemies that they must face in front of them. Like you know, Bruce Wayne, you know, his biggest failure is that he couldn't save his parents whenever mm -hmm. he was younger and everything. So a lot of the times, the Scarecrow will use those drugs on him and. And uh, Bruce Wayne will see visions of his parents, Bruce Wayne slash Batman, uh, and yeah. his parents saying that he's a failure, that he, you know, he'll never amount to anything. Batman, Batman, Bruce Wayne slash Batman. Oh, oh my, I'm sorry, excuse me. I didn't know I was I'm trying like, to do my best Batman was, uh, here, and you're like, you're just staring at me. I was like, I mean, uh, I'm a girl, come on. Man, How good is this uh, supposed to be? No, it was a pretty good Batman. And, and I'm a mom. You, I mean, it was a, it was a fantastic. Am I using the mom eyes? You're like, you're a bastard, son. <laughs> Whenever mom does her impersonation of Batman, you got to say it was incredible. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, okay, it was incredible, mom. It was fantastic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, that's the vibe I got from that. So uh, the trailer looked phenomenal. I'm excited yeah. to check this out Friday, October 13th. We just both have to dive back in 
uh, to the evil within one and give that game a better uh, chance and actually beat it so that way we know the story for evil within two yes sounds like a good plan to me so let us know what you guys thought of this trailer in the comment box down below thanks so much for watching and we hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day Bye bye i'm batman <laughs> <laughs> i'm constipated batman <laughs>